Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your Xbox up to a VPN. Now, what makes this tricky is the fact that you can't get a VPN directly on an Xbox. You're going to have to have the VPN on the internet connection that the Xbox is using. So for example, a solution that's often recommended is to get a VPN on your router. The thing with this is that not every VPN can be put on a router and not every router supports a VPN. So for example, here you can see the compatible routers for ExpressVPN. You can also see here the compatible routers for NordVPN. And if you have one of these routers and the VPN that's compatible with it, and I'll have links in the description for these VPNs in case you do want to try them out. So if you have those two things, then you're good to go. You can just put the VPN on your router and your Xbox when it's connected to that internet connection will automatically be using that VPN. But if you don't want to go that route, then there are other ways to do it. And if you have a Windows PC, it's actually really easy. So all you have to do is go into your settings, go to network and internet, go over here where it says mobile hotspot, click on that and click on. This is going to turn your computer into a mobile hotspot. And then when you connect your Xbox up to that hotspot, it'll automatically be using the VPN connection that you have on your computer. So after enabling the mobile hotspot, you'd go back into network and internet go to advanced network settings over here and click on that. You're going to see all of the network adapters and you want to find the one for the VPN that you're using. You can see I have a bunch of network adapters because I have a lot of VPNs on my computer. But let's say I was using ExpressVPN as an example. That is my personal favorite VPN. So I'm going to go over there. It says ExpressVPN tap adapter. And then I'm going to go over here to this arrow. I'm going to go to more adapter options. Click edit. Now in this window over here, we're going to go to sharing. We're going to click this, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So that will allow the Xbox to use the VPN's internet connection. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click OK. And once that's enabled, if you don't want to use a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can really disable the hotspot and then just connect up from your Xbox to your computer with an Ethernet cable and you're good to go. If you want to use a hotspot, though, then you want to have that hotspot enabled, obviously. And then you want to go over here and click on this drop down menu and find the local area connection that has the little star afterwards. Depending on your computer, you might have a different number here. Mine says nine. But the main thing is that you want the one that has the little star after because that's the mobile hotspot. So you want to connect up to there and click OK. Now, once that's set up, regardless of which VPN you're using, you want to go over to the options over here in ExpressVPN on the top left. You want to go to protocol and you want to choose open VPN, UDP or TCP. UDP is going to be a bit faster, but you want open VPN. The protocol is basically how the VPN connects up to the Internet and open VPN is going to be the one that will work best when you're connecting up with your Xbox. So you want to have that enabled. Click OK and then choose whichever country or whichever place it is that you want to connect to. With ExpressVPN, you have 105 countries to choose from as of now. So just pick one and you just click connect. And once you're connected in the VPN, you would go into your Xbox box and sign into that Wi-Fi hotspot that you just set up on your computer. Or if you're using an Ethernet cable, just connect up the cable. Now, if you want the best speeds and the best experience when you're doing this, the three VPNs that I would recommend that you go with are either this one here, ExpressVPN, NordVPN or Surfshark. All three of these will allow you to go through the steps that I just did and connect your Xbox up to the VPN. If you have a Mac, it's going to be basically the same steps, but it is a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to have step by step instructions for you in the description of this video, as well as full reviews for each of these VPNs and discount links that will save you some extra money if you do want to try them out. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments how it goes for you setting up your Xbox with the VPN. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.